Welcome to A Sky Full of Stars. This is a program where we talk about the titles of Our Lady, in the Litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Each Saturday, we explore one particular title, so that in one year, we would have honored Our Lady with all the titles in the Litany. Join us each week, as we chit-chat about the different virtues that the Church ascribes to Our Mother. Before we begin this week's episode, let us pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Now, let's lift the veil of Mary's many titles, and get to know the Lady within. In this episode, we reflect on the title, Help of Christians. Hello and welcome to this episode of A Sky Full of Stars. This is a program where we honor and learn about each of Mary's titles each Saturday. I am your host, Joby Provido. In this episode, we will reflect on the title, Help of Christians. From documents in Greek, we know that the Church Fathers already used to call Mary as Boetia, the Helper. In fact, the oldest documented prayer, the Tuum Presidium, invokes the help of Mary, and it is the prayer on which the Memorare is based. While this prayer was already in use, it became popular starting 1571 when Christianity was struggling against the invasion of the Ottoman Empire. The empire controlled most of Southwest Europe, Western Asia, and Northern Africa, and they were fighting their way westward, trying to capture all of Western Europe where Christianity was the dominant religion. In the August of 1571, the city of Famagusta in Cyprus fell to the empire after they continuously bombarded it for almost a year. Not having recovered yet, Pope Pius V received news that the Turks were launching a naval attack from Lepanto and planned to sail to Italy. To avert this impending invasion, the Pope assembled Christian armies from all over Europe to defend the remaining Christian nations. This was joined by Austria, Spain, Venice, Genoa, the Duchies of Savoy, Urbino, Tuscany, and the Knights Hospitaller. Collectively, they were known as the Holy League. The Pope also turned to Mary and asked her to defend the kingdom of her son. And for this, he initiated a prayer to Mary, help of Christians. On October 7, 1571, the Christian fleet met with the Turkish ships in the Gulf of Patras, and despite being outnumbered 20 to 1, the Holy League decimated almost 300 ships of the Ottoman fleet. It crippled the empire so badly that they never recovered, and it put a halt to their expansion to the west. This was known as the Battle of Lepanto, and the Christian victory was attributed to Mary, help of Christians. Stories of God's people battling evil can be read again and again in the Old Testament. It continued in the Battle of Lepanto, and it continues today as we battle any or all evil of any form that threatens to harm the kingdom of God. So, when we invoke this title, let us remember that Mary is on our side and continually assists the church against the attacks of the enemy in whatever form or size. That is it for this episode. If you like this, hit the subscribe button so you won't miss future episodes. Also, share this video with someone who might enjoy it. This is Joby of the Catholic Talks. May God bless you and may our mother always keep you in her mantle. I hope to see you next episode. Bye-bye. The contents of this program are based on the book, A Sky Full of Stars. Subtitled, Know Our Lady Through Her Titles in the Litany. Hardbound, paperback, and Kindle versions of the book are available on Amazon. In the Philippines, the paperback is available at ourcatholicfaith.net. Get your copy today.
This program is brought to you by The Catholic Talks. Join us again next Saturday for another episode of A Sky Full of Stars. Let's fall in love with our mother all over again.